Thank you, um, Chairperson, Honourable Members, Minister, Deputy Minister, staff from the OCJ. Thank you for honouring me with this opportunity, the EFF. Chairperson, I will start by saying um, that uh, the Constitutional Court in the, we normally say in the Nganda matter, was very clear that uh, unfortunately litigation often is for the wealthy and you'd find that uh, the poor are not uh, recognized, the poor do not have access to the law. And uh, the challenge here is that we have the Office of the Chief Justice, which was established in 2010. And after establishing this office, it was to make sure that there's independence of the judiciary and the judiciary should be uh, helpful to uh, the poor and the marginalized. But uh, what is currently happening is that um, since then, the lower courts have not been included. There's the lower courts bill, which uh, is supposed to be making sure that all courts are dealt with and are covered uh, by um, the Office of the Chief Justice. So the office would have made sure that there is also independence. There won't be um, unlawful or unnecessary interference with the judiciary. The Office of the Chief Justice, um, in fact, uh, was uh, then had its mission to make sure that there's transformation there is independence of the judiciary. But uh, progress uh, in establishing these courts has not been seen up to so far because that court, lower courts bill is very critical. Actually, it's the starting point because how many years now we're still waiting for that. Coming to then the role of the Chief Justice in ensuring access to justice, we are dismally failing as far as that matter is concerned because the poor cannot minister um, and uh, honorable members and members of the public exercise and access justice. See, finally, see, check out what you want rural areas. We experience that particular process. So unfortunately, the current chief justice, the appointment yake, was viewed as a and e leadership yake is very much uh, questionable. I mean, currently, Sine land claims a court where there's a lot of incompetence and favoritism in uh, leaving the lane claimants very much vulnerable. They only concentrate on evictions, but then they don't focus on the uh, issue of uh, uh, land claims. Now, the Chief Justice will be uh, issuing, apparently, the annual report for the performance of the judiciary. A question, Lapo, uh, as members of the committee which have asked, Uguti, why do we only deal with the Office of the Chief Justice and forget about the performance as well of the lower courts, the functional performance? Because that's where we need to change Uguti people. Are they really exercising to uh, justice? Because we are now focusing on um, issues of the payments, issues as in an impact who the poor and the marginalized. So the neglect of the land claims court is questionable. Another critical issue is Nayo Uguti. The various courts, the conditions are deplorable because if Besin Uguti, Ama courts, lower courts are under the office of the Chief Justice and they are looked up to, dilapidated courts. I mean, there are a number of courts which are dilapidated and those courts are the because when you go there, you don't feel good you can access e justice. The courts which I would mention, Uguti, courts A M Zumbe, um, Abu Mzumbe, Ndwendwe, Emamilodi, where the courts do not have fully functional uh, system. There are um, poor maintenance of the existing courts. Kunama uh, cracks, the buildings are not working, smelly. Those are the things people are experiencing on the, uh, on the ground. Uh, but, uh, and the, the, the Office of the Church Chief Justice should be helping to handle those kind of, of, of things. We have situations, um, members of the public, where gender-based violence, I'm a rape victims, they are just left to be um, handled anyhow. There's no privacy in a number of courts where they are exposed to secondary uh, abuse 
because then you are raped, your court must be heard, you are subjected. Like there's one case in Bloemfontein where the family sat for four hours and when they were called, the case was postponed. There's a lot of postponements. But then coming back to the uh, judiciary and the office of the, of, the, of the Chief Justice, what we are saying as EFF, we are saying the best way to handle a lot of backlogs, because there are a number of backlogs, is also to change and have alternative dispute resolution mechanisms, have special courts, but also we need the judiciary to be techno-savvy. We cannot have a situation where Judge Tefu is issuing a judgment with notes, but we need a situation where they will have typed their judgments, they are trained uh, on uh, uh, artificial intelligence, they can make sure that they do their work properly. Unfortunately, uh, Chairperson SEFF, we don't support uh, this budget vote. We are saying more can be done to change and have an independent um, judiciary. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable.